we're going to go on a little journey. I'm not going to make it weird, but I'm going to, I am going to ask you to close your eyes. So if your wife's close to you, hold your, hold your wallets, guys, <laughs> just in case. All right, I want, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine the house that you live in right now, okay? You're going to wake up. You're going to get up this morning. You're going to either throw your alarm clock against the wall or calmly turn it off. Depends on you. On you. You're going to go and make coffee. While that coffee's making, you're going to jump in the shower. You're going to get ready for work. You're going to blow dry your hair. You're going to do your makeup if that's what you do. You're going to comb your hair. You're going to shave and just head to the closet now. Throw on your suit, your uniform, whatever you're going to wear to work. Now go back to the kitchen get you some coffee. Get your breakfast, whatever it is, a bagel, a muffin. Maybe you cook the whole thing. Eggs, bacon, sausage. Now, imagine that same thing, but put yourself in a wheelchair in your house, the house you live in right now. Put yourself in a wheelchair and wake up. Go make your coffee. Do you have to go downstairs? Maybe you've got to park your wheelchair at the bottom of the stairs and you've got to hop down those stairs to get to the kitchen. Now get in the shower. Well, you just went downstairs to go make your coffee. Now you've got to hop back upstairs to go take your shower. These are all barriers that we experience when we live in a regular home. We have to try to wheelchair through normal doorways that aren't wide enough. I know you and I know you have lost some knuckle skin on those doorways. I've done the same thing. It's rough. Now, we've got HFOT, who's taking all those barriers and they're like, look, this is a problem for you, let's fix it. Let's take this out. Let's take this out, let's add this, let's put this in, so that you guys can get up and go about your day just like everybody else does, barrier free. No more barriers in your way, nothing to stop you. It can be kind of a problem because then your wife starts to expect you to do laundry and things like that. <laughs> That's okay, because we can do that and it's no problem. So here we are. We've got our brotherhood. We've got our community. Now we've knocked down all our barriers. What's left? Now we rebuild our lives. We start doing what we want to do. Since I moved in my house, I've been able to do so many different things. I've been able to stay home and be a dad to my kid. I've been able to be a husband to my wife. I've been able to go on family vacations. Um, my son and I are getting ready to start playing guitar together. We're gonna learn how to play the guitar together. Just because we've got that time. We've knocked down those barriers to where I can now focus on what's important. And you may think of HFOD as a charity, but it's not. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, the Romans put their warriors up there because they knew it was their duty, and they would give them a piece of land when they were finished with their, with their term of service, give them some land, they here, go farm, Go be retired. Go do your thing. Vikings would do the same thing. The Jarl would give them, give them a piece of land. Here you go. Because it was their duty. Not because they felt bad for them. Oh, you spent all these years serving me in my, in my army. No, it was, you spent all these years serving me in my, in my army, so let me give this to you because it's my duty. Now go be happy with your family. So that's what HVOD does. This is their duty. They see it as a duty, not, not as charity. It's their duty to help us out, to knock down these barriers so that we can rebuild our lives. 